protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Khalid Massoud, a 52-year-old English teacher and British native, living in the Great Britain Muslim enclave of Birmingham, England, where according to a 2011 census, 21.8% of the Birmingham population identified as Muslim, a much higher average compared to the national average of 4.8%. Molded by a life of criminal acts and radicalized by the ongoing jihad in Europe, Massoud took the lives of a mother of two, a vacationing American, an unarmed police officer, and a 75-year-old retiree after driving a Hyundai 4x4 on the pedestrian right-of-way, plowing through as many as 40 people of various national backgrounds down one of the most symbolic roads in England, leaving a trail of death and mayhem at the foot of the iconic Big Ben. The message was abundantly clear even before ISIS claimed responsibility. Former spokesman and leader of the English Defence League, Tommy Robinson, pleaded with fellow Britons to open their eyes to the national suicide underway. We've had 12 suspected terrorist attacks planned last year. If they would have been successful, you'd have seen shopping centres, you'd have seen aeroplanes, you'd have seen nightclubs, you'd have seen a war zone on our streets. Similar to this, every single month. Then, and only then, might people realise we are at war. We're in war already. We have had 450 ISIS fighters been allowed to return to our country. They've gone and fought for ISIS. They've been in training camps. They've been beheading people. They've been raping people. And they're walking the streets of our capital city. Because my head is not up my ass. Yeah? My head is not up my ass. This is an Islamic Jihad attack. The man that done this would have either been radicalised in a prison or he would have been radicalised on the streets of the UK with full knowledge of our government and our security services. The location of this attack was no accident. The terrorists chose to strike at the heart of our capital city, where people of all nationalities, religions and cultures come together to celebrate the values of liberty, democracy and freedom of speech. These streets of Westminster, home to the world's old oldest parliament, are ingrained with a spirit of freedom that echoes in some of the furthest corners of the globe. And the values our parliament represents, democracy, freedom, human rights, the rule of law, command the admiration and respect of free people everywhere. The English authorities seem to have been temporarily awakened by the obvious message, as raids in London, Birmingham, Surrey, Wales, Manchester and Brighton have so far netted 10 people related to the recent attack on the heart of England. Confirm that we have searched six addresses and made seven arrests. The inquiries in Birmingham, London and other parts of the country are continuing. It is still our belief, which continues to be borne out by our investigation, that this attacker acted alone and was inspired by international terrorism. The larger question here is what kind of global culture do we really live in? Where Silicon Valley elite sociopaths flood our media landscape with their version of reality, while technocratic billionaires plan a dystopian future where our children are replaced by robots. Where war hawks place the common citizen in the theater of war for dubious reasons, and where a psychopathic ideology is protected while openly professing a message of death to its host. Just how stupid are we to allow this war against us, the cannon fodder of the globalists and the enemies of Islam, to continue? John Bound for Infowars.com. In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalist. InfoWars Prime. Where you can watch live, high-definition feeds of The Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind-the-scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download to 
today. InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. And if you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.